What's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me today. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit the like button because that is the most important thing you can do for me on this channel. What it does is that it helps make sure that those who are subscribed to the channel will indeed get their notifications, and it also helps to push this video through the YouTube algorithm as well. Secondly, if you're new to the channel or maybe you've been ghost watching this channel for quite some time now, please do me a favor and yourself a favor by hitting the subscribe button as well as the bell notification next to the subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. And lastly, please make sure you share this video out on your social media platforms to your family and friends to inform them on this news and information. And yes, that does help to give me a slight boost in the YouTube algorithm as well. And with the introduction out of the way, let's get into today's news. And today we are headed to Texas because we have yet another story of an illegal immigrant, this time from El Salvador, who took the lives of two Chick-fil-A employees a couple of days ago. Now, this was a targeted situation. It wasn't a random act of violence, right? Uh, this was targeted. Why he went into that Chick-fil-A and targeted those two employees uh, is not known yet. But in all reality, in my opinion, and with respect to the family, I don't mean any disrespect when I say this, it really doesn't matter because the reality is, is that he should have never been here to begin with. Um, if we had stricter and tighter border control policies, this net, this would probably, this most likely uh, wouldn't have happened. It wouldn't be the case. But unfortunately, we are dealing with Biden's open border stance. And because of that, we're having more and more situations like this occur where they most likely wouldn't be happening if Biden didn't have such a laissez-faire attitude when it came to his open border stance, right? So now what I want to do is that I want to get into a news clip surrounding this situation so we get a little bit more detail of what actually happened. And then I want to shift over to an article that I want to go through very quickly because this a situation actually occurred maybe about five days ago, but just recently, about a day or two ago, uh, it was discovered that this man is actually an illegal immigrant uh, who crossed illegally, obviously, right? So let's get into this clip right now uh, before we get into the article. The murder of two people at an Irving restaurant was booked into jail early this morning. Fox 4's TC Muzinga joins us live at the Irving Police Department with that story. TC. Yeah, good morning, guys. 37-year-old Oved Bernardo Mendoza rather, Agueda, is sitting in the Irving jail. He was booked around 3 a.m. this morning. Now, police say that he shot and killed two people inside the Chick-fil-A near MacArthur Boulevard and Walnut Hill Lane Wednesday afternoon. We still don't know the names of the victims, and a woman told Fox 4 she rushed to the scene after getting a call from her teenage daughter, who works at a restaurant next door. She's like, they're jumping out the window. They're jumping out the window. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? At that moment, a mother concern is my baby. How soon can I get to her? We think that our kids is gonna be safe when they leave the home to make some extra money, you know? And when they get here, something to happen. And this is too close. And they should feel safe when they leave the home to make some extra money. They should feel safe. And listen, I'm not delusional or silly. You know, things happen right? Things happen. Uh, this isn't some sort of a situation that's new as it pertains to just gun violence, we'll say, right? As Democrats love to talk about gun violence, right? Um, stuff happens like this all the time. But as it pertains to this man that's on your screen right now, I, I can't harp enough. He shouldn't even be here. He's not even supposed to be here. So you have someone in the country who shouldn't be in a country that's wreaking havoc, terrifying the community that he resides in, uh, when the reality is he should be in the original community that he was born in, not here committing these kind of acts. But here he is, and here we are discussing it. said if the victims were customers or Chick-fil-A employees and police do believe they were targeted, it is unclear how the suspect is connected to them. Mendoza Argueta, by the way, is charged with capital murder and there has not been a bond set yet. For a good day, I'm TCM Musinga. So now what I want to do is shift over to the article here. The article is titled Illegal Immigrant Accused of Shooting Two Dead Texas Chick-fil-A Workers Previously Sneaked 
into the U.S. So let's jump into this article. Uh, we're going to knock this out very quickly. And as always, or as I try to make sure to do regularly, sometimes I do slip up uh, all the information that you do see on your screen right now. The links will be in the description box below the links to the original video that we just watched, as well as the link to this article. Uh, if you want to read and watch this uh, videos for yourself, minus my commentary, right? So now let's get into this article right here from the New York Post. And it reads as such, the illegal immigrant accused of shooting dead two Texas Chick-fil-A workers had previously sneaked past authorities to enter the U.S. illegally, sources told the Post. Ovid Bernando Mendoza Argueta I guess that's how you say his last name, a 37 year old native of El Salvador who is charged with capital murder, told authorities he crossed into the U.S. illegally, but claimed not to know when or where Homeland Security sources said. Clearly, he's lying. He's clearly lying. But I'll come back to that. He also told authorities he's married with a child whom he says is a U.S. citizen. Now, I don't know if he's making reference to his child being a, a U.S. citizen uh, since, you know, I, what is it called? Uh, the birthright. Um, I'm, I'm brain farting right now. Birthright citizenship. So I don't know if his child is a citizen through birthright citizenship um, or if maybe his wife is a citizen. It really doesn't matter at this point because you already played yourself by killing two people. The number of migrants crossing the border without detection has skyrocketed in recent years, amounting to roughly 1.8 million since the start of the Biden administration. And this goes to what I've been saying on this channel over and over again as it pertains to gotaways. That 1.8 million consists of gotaways, which is exactly who this Mr. Mendoza guy is. He's a gotaway. That's why he's claiming to not know when he came into the country or where he came into the country. I might believe you if you say, well, I don't know where I snuck into the country at. But then to go on to say that you don't even know when, you can't even tell me the year roughly what year it was uh that just goes to show that you are one of many individuals who are gotaways that came into the country to commit crime and to be the piece of filth that you are right now and to do the things that he's done once again you know under the biden administration there's literally no reason for you to be a gotaway unless you're already a criminal coming into the country or maybe you're not on the books in your country for being a criminal, but that is who you are. You just haven't been caught yet. And now you want to partake in that over here. There's no reason for anyone to be a gotaway in this country when you know that as soon as you come to the border, throw your hands up and surrender, you will be signed a court date to present your case as it pertains to you trying to justify your asylum seeker uh, uh, status here in the United States, right? Uh, there's literally no reason to be a gotaway as this gentleman is, or as this murderer is allegedly, I guess technically we have to say allegedly still, right? Uh, there's no reason for you to be a gotaway when you know you'll receive asylum seeker status by Biden. So once again, he came here to be exactly who he is, which is a murderer, allegedly. That's what you came here for. That's why you're a gotaway. But I digress. Uh, let's carry on. Let's carry on because we're going to get into uh, the victims in just a moment. Uh, Mendoza Argueta allegedly opened fire Wednesday at the fast food joint location in, Dal in, the, in the Dallas suburb of Irving uh, before fleeing the scene in a silver 97 Honda sedan. His wife works at the Chick-fil-A and helped authorities track down Mendoza Argueta. Now, I find that interesting that his wife also works there. And we do know that this situation was targeted. What that leads me to believe, and I'm only speculating, I'm only speculating, but because this was a targeted situation here, I'm going to assume that the two people he murdered allegedly uh were people that his wife was having trouble with you know we've all worked jobs where we had co-workers uh, that we don't get along with that we don't like uh some of them are mean yada 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 
I'm assuming that that's most likely the case. Uh, and because this guy is most likely a criminal in El Salvador, um, that behavior just came out of him and it said, hey, well, you know, if you got a problem with my wife, you got a problem with me and I'm not going to come and argue with you about it. You know, I'm going to come in and handle business. And apparently that's what he did. In my opinion, I believe that that's most likely what happened. Authorities tracked him down and arrested him around 2.50 a.m. Thursday. The victims of the shooting have since been identified as 31-year-old Brian uh, Brian Goody. I know I'm saying his last name wrong. Forgive me. Uh, Brian Goody, father of four from Guatemala, and 49-year-old grandmother uh, Patricia Portillo, Fox 4 reported. And these are the victims right here who were slain by the illegal immigrant. Irving police said Mendoza Argueta has a hold from immigration and customs enforcement, meaning they have requested to take him into federal custody. Mendoza Argueta's case is just one of many recent violent crimes involving illegal immigrants. And this is the photo of ISIS logged detainer on him. So this guy is done. He's toast. Uh, he won't be seeing daylight again uh, unless he's on the yard in a prison cell because this did happen in Texas. We all know that if this happened in Chicago or New York, he would have probably been out like on $25,000 bond already. Um, but this is Texas where that happened at. So he's not going anywhere anytime soon. And they do cooperate uh, with ICE. So he's out of here. He's finished and he's done. But it's unfortunate because this is a situation, once again, uh, that shouldn't have even happened. This should have even happened. This shouldn't even be, this shouldn't even be a problem in the country. Uh, but, you know, once again, when you're under the rule of a man who believes in open borders, essentially, not even screening the people that are coming in, once they come in, you just get open access and here you go. Well, then here we are with situations like this, and we could only expect them to continue un Fortunately, but with all that being said, that does it for today's news. Fortunately, uh, this man has been captured. This happened in Texas, so he's not seeing daylight again unless he's in the yard. As I stated earlier, he's finished and he's done. Thank you all for joining me today. Like the video on your way out. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel, and don't forget to follow me on Telegram at TD Media Group. The link to my Telegram is in the description box below and will be pinned in the comment section as well. And also don't forget to share this video out on your social media platforms also. Thank you all for your time and until the next video, peace and have a great afternoon.